though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. I gave you clear. Don't do anything stupid, did I not? You keep your hands where I can see. Blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far.
Look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. No. I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new, a hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too, but you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next, as time itself laughs. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. Embrace your fate. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live, than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Bye.
I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with them once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. What the? Get the... Oh. Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. What kind of... Uh, why do you, you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here. So you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke... It was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out I was right. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. 
The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld, the Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I won't tell him. Everyone seems to agree there's been an outbreak of madness around these parts. I'm inclined to believe you fell victim to it, too. Plus, it seems heartless to tear apart a family after what you've been through already. Oh, thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. That said, the port's still closed. What will you do? Hide here, I guess. Don't have a choice. The streets are flooded with police. I'll make something up to tell Throgmorton. Leave as soon as you can. Thank you again, sir. I won't forget this. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. You want a drink? You want a drink? I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and a scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Just ask his friends. Alas. This was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. 
An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her words, exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You mentioned the Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert. When you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? <laughs> 